ever have that nagging feeling, between doing your trigonometry homework and editing your high school's newspaper, that all the males in your entire family are serial killers? Betty Cooper Lily Reinhardt probably has. Or if she hasnt, she sure should. Last week on Riverdale, the friendly neighborhood serial killer The Black Hood played phone tag with our favorite girl Friday. Veronica Camila Mendez tried to reclaim her bad gal NYC cred when a sleazy pass pal and his dad's wallet rolled into town, and the Pussycats plus V gave the same turd bucket his comeuppance when he drugged and tried to yearly assault Queen Cheryl Blossom Madeline Petch. At the top of the episode, when Betty came clean to the popo about receiving a Black Hood letter and cipher of her very own, it was revealed that the handwriting and other CSI nonsense didnt match up to the screed sent to Alice Cooper Mad Chinamic a few episodes ago. That could mean one of two things, a copycat killer, or, at the very least, a co-conspirator. Which, duh, as we pointed out previously, teen gun nut Dilton Doily is truly, madly guilty of stirring ish up in the old road. Additional shadiness revealed Sweet P shares that Dilton stabbed himself in the rumble we saw in the last episode, maybe. In a further attempt to convince the Red Circle cohort that helps Team North side, Archie's new plan goes off the rails but riddle me this what if some of the Black Hood activity is coming from within Betty's very own family, either in cooperation or not with Dilton. Creepy letters and voice distortion this fall's hottest new trend for your consideration Hal Cooper Lachlan Munro and She Cooper Hart Denton for the latest inductees to the Black Hood Society. But we haven't even met Sheik Cooper yet you cry. And why would Betty's long-lost super-secret older bro be all about the serial killer live anyway? And, Dad, Daddy, throw away that what we know about the Black Hood list and look to your own fam, Betty. Think about it if Betty is meant to realize that S-H-E-S also the Black Hood, it would make sense that it's a family game. When the Black Hood instructed Betty to put on the mask and look in the mirror, then said that that was her answer for who he was, it wasnt just for chills. And Tilda drama Tilda, combined with him saying she'd recognize his face, this seems like a strong argument for some family resemblance. You would nt necessarily have to have knowingly met a relative to be like, hmm, he looks a lot like H-E-S. Related to me chic, and S-H-E-S obviously seen her dad's face hell. Step into the family business, it's the Riverdale. Way Betty's biggest mistakes after receiving the Black Hood's letter but why chic, you ask? Easy. She could hate older sis Polly. Forgetting to stay and be raised with the Coopers in Riverdale, and Alice for giving him away which would also explain why Alice has suffered the most after being outed in her own paper as a Southsider. Chic. Presumably hasnt been too far away this season, and we know he'll be showing his face sometime soon thank you. Instagram stories and casting news. It could be that a delayed big brother instinct combined with a past checkered with abandonment and betrayal has led him to believe that Betty is pure and worthy of protection, while Alice is a bad person for giving him to the sisters of quiet mercy for adoption and Polly is a jerk for getting to stay and using that privilege to gestate her incest twins. Hence, a twisted protection of Betty at all costs. Hal also has an interest in protecting Betty he is her dad, after all, and did some serious soul-searching last season. Dude has also been notably soft-spoken this season, which is a big change after season 1's outburst and alpha male iroliness. It could be that Helps had an off-screen transformation and now has a new project Vengeance and Sons, Limited. Assuming H.E.S. Sheik's biological father, his midlife crisis could have involved tracking him down, reconnecting and trying to make good in his own bloodthirsty way. It's worth noting that Hal also knows where the incest farm Polly ran away to the same farm she was planning to live happily ever after on with Jason last season, and could have used that info to dark ends. Let's not forget he seemed mysteriously quiet when Polly headed out. Hal and Alice Cooper, Betty's parents on Riverdale. Photo CWNOT to mention, there's something extremely iffy going on between Hal and Alice. Before Alice showed up at the open house in all her rent the runway formal romper glory, Hal said that Alice was upset by the story of her south side past an arrest cropping up and had decided to sit this one out, which is clearly a lie, since she blows him off when she makes her big entrance, unsubtle snake. 
choker and all. It would seem their marital issues from season one haven't been entirely resolved. Could part of Hal's controlling behavior include releasing her DD dark secrets? He would, after all, have access to the old newspaper clips as the co-owner of the town paper, even if Alice had ripped them all out like she claimed. And let's not forget that Riverdale is at its core a show about bad dads. Last season was all about the sins of the father, from F.P. Jones serpenting around, Cliff Blossom's straight-up murder, Fred Andrews' business practices and Hal's super iffy parenting. It would make sense that season two would carry on in this vein, though perhaps in a less obvious way. On a more meta note, far from the fictional bounds of Riverdale, season two has already drawn comparison to Scream and Shadow of a Doubt, which are worth taking a look at while we discuss who may be wearing that hood. The Scream slasher franchise is known for its use of serial killer as an honorary title, as opposed to one specific person, a setup that would definitely make it easier for the Black Hood to get around and carry out vengeance all over town. Additionally, showrunner Roberto Aguirre Sarcasa told EW earlier this year that season two would be something on homage to the film Shadow of a Doubt. In the movie, the killer ends up being spoilerly protagonist's beloved uncle. The main character ends up getting pulled into his dark secrets and being torn between family loyalty and, do you know, bringing a murderer to justice. Sound familiar? Riverdale airs Wednesdays at 87C on The CW, Full Disclosure TV. Guide is owned by CBS, one of the CW's parent companies.